Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. I am uh, headed out to Hondo. I'm actually in Bandera, Texas right now. I just pulled up at my grandma's house. So I was gonna hang out with her for about 30, 45 minutes before I uh, head out to my buddies in uh, Hondo. So just doing kind of a doe management hunt out there. They usually have quite a few hogs. So just gonna sit out in the blind, have fun and, and see what pops out. I actually just pulled up to my grandma's here and there's a a deer just a little doe sitting out here on the golf course and I actually see another one in front of me they're basically like pets out here so they don't really care about seeing people or cars but pretty cool to, to already be seeing stuff so I'm gonna go in and uh, spend some time with my grandma and then head out to Hondo and I'll turn you all on when I get there all right just got to my buddy's place at Hondo he should be showing up in about 15 minutes it's about three 30-ish, so we're going to be heading out right when he shows up. So I just realized the tripod mount I brought for my nice camera, I left on my other camera. Uh, so that's unfortunate. We'll just see what kind of footage I can get. Because I won't be able to mount it on a tripod, so I won't be able to get great footage. But I do have my 308, which has the uh, scope with the camera on it. So hopefully I can get good enough footage with that, as well as with this camera a little bit. So we'll see how it goes. You know, when you go on trips like this, you always seem to forget something. So I'm getting ready. And when he gets here, we're going to head out to the stand. I'll turn y'all and we get there. All right. It's about 3.45. I just got to the blind. We're not sure if there's corn in my feeder. But we drove the side by side around and corned around where the feeder is. And corned out here in front of the blind to see if we can get something to come in. But... When I was getting set up, I thought I saw some movement down in this uh, valley over here. We got a nice buck out here. Well, we still have about an hour of daylight left, and I just had that little four point. Probably couldn't see him much on the video, but I have this door open on the blind because so I wasn't able to close it. I mean, he was 15 yards from me. So he walked by and out into that field. And then that eight point popped back out. Um, but then they both turned around and, and walked off. But we still have a good hour of daylight. So I never heard this feeder go off. So I kind of doubt it will. They said it was kind of low. So we'll check on that tomorrow. But. It's already a good sign that I'm seeing some deer, so hopefully a big doe or some hogs pop out. So it's about 7.30, uh, still fairly dark because we had some rain roll in and still drizzling, still raining a little bit, but figured we'd get out here and see if when the, the rain breaks here, which it sounds like it's about to, uh, if some stuff will start showing up. So we'll see how that goes. We just heard a gunshot. I think uh, Travis shot a buck, so he said it dropped. So I think I'm gonna pack up and uh, let's go see what he killed. All right, so I know I didn't do much talking, but my buddy Travis ended up getting a, a pretty nice nine point, probably a two and a half, three and a half year old nine point. They're going back out to that same blind. I think they're gonna take some pictures, see if anything else pops up, maybe get a hog. 
and if a doe pops up here and is asking for it, I'll take a doe out. But we actually spooked a, uh, a deer on our way in and they're already back out the feeder. So I'm gonna get it set up and see what we got out here at the feeder. It looks like it may actually be a couple doe. So we'll, we'll see, uh, see how tonight goes. Well, I'm doing some editing again. It, like usual, I, I don't have next interview. No excuse on this one, just forgot to do it. That's a goal for 2023 to do an exit interview. But as you can see here, you know, I saw quite a few bucks, but I was really targeting a, a mature doe and never came across one. So didn't really feel like taking a shot at anything out there, but it was fun, you know, watching my buddy take a buck, uh, getting to help him clean it and stuff. So had a lot of fun out there. And I think this is pretty much gonna wrap up my 2022 hunting season. Hopefully uh, I'll get out early 2023 and get to do some hog hunting at our property. I'm hoping to get some turkey hunting done and, and finally get my first turkey this spring. Stay tuned for more videos. Uh, hopefully 2023 I'll be able to hunt a little bit more and post a little bit more. So I look forward to that and hope you all have a great new year.